gate. Secrets of the deep. What the hell? Shouldn't have left the key in there, Henry. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Hey, no reception. Ooh. Jesus, this is a big cave. Interesting snuff, uh, stuff going on in here, huh? Yeah, snuff. I dirt on words, okay? You're good at that. I apologize greatly. No, you don't. I actually do on that corner. It's freezing in here. Mmm, freezing, you said? Is anybody down there? Hmm. There's a shoe in this cave. <laughs> also, there might be one central part of the plot that you asked me a question about earlier and I had to lie to not uh, spoil it. <laughs> Oh. Well, I can't tell you what part that was. Darn it. Is it coming up soon? Yes. Okay. I'll figure it out. You liar. Okay, never mind. I was at the wrong part that I thought I was. Oh. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing, Nothing yet, because someone, someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No, th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to two forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. No reason to doodle like that. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Freddy Bear. The Dracula Lords. Light is Sylvia. Um. Brian was doing a science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Poor kid left his homework? Yeah. He must have been pretty smart, huh? Yeah, sharper than a lot of the grown up knuckleheads I'm used to, yeah. What, you're saying I'm one of those knuckleheads, is that it? I wasn't, but, um, now that I think about it. Because I know lots of stuff. Oh, please, drown me in your surplus of knowledge. I've been waiting all these years for a man as wise as you to take this job. Well, that wait's over, sweetheart. Uh, call me sweetheart again, and you'll use that big sexy brain of yours to fill out your unemployment paperwork. Sorry, boss. We had walkie-talkie sex. You have hey, remember that pack I found? Back 
on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. It's some wily Coyote stuff, I'll tell you that much. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dumped water on fires, and... I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in Two Forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. Bunch of rocks stacked up, you made a wall and a perimeter. God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Five degrees north. Ow. The black band. He'd hide out here to read comics. The black band, his grief is his enemy's sorrow. Everyone this guy loves gets killed, so he honors them with a black armband which gives him superpowers. Well, that's fucking dark. Okay. Brian stole his dad's climbing gear, his anchors. That's convenient. Yeah, it is. I think he was going to hide them in a cash box or something and never got around to it. I mean, he left a note for a ranger to find them and, and send them back to him in Nebraska. Because he hated climbing? Yeah. It sounds like Ned was pushing him, and pretending to lose his anchors was the easiest way to put a stop to it. <sighs> I hope it worked. God, what an asshole. Yeah. Man, that is the sort of thing that would have caused me to catch a beating growing up. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past old Ned. Look how super nerd this kid was. Alignment, chaotic good. Huh? Yes. Wraith half elf. Name Gladius Silvia. Uh, Silva. Class Ranger. Level four. Male. Age twenty nine. Height five eight. Weight one thirty five. Appearance rugged. Eyes blue green, hair black. Seven brawn, thirteen agility, fifteen stamina, fourteen uh, clairvoyance, fifteen knowledge. Nerd. Mox, I have no idea. Sixteen spells, sixteen breath weapon, fourteen petrify, fifteen rod staff one, thirteen frog <laughs> wisdom. Special ability, two hand in the weapon. He's two hand in the weapon at 135 pounds. Just saying. Adjusted armor. Surprise, shield, this rear 777, armor 7. His armor is only studded leather. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Hmm. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. Gosh, Brian had everything he loved out there. There's also a postcard here from Brian to, I guess, his neighbor. What's it say? That he's with his dad and sorry he can't mow his lawn this summer. Oh, gosh. And also he was worried his dad didn't know when school started. 
I'd say that's a lucky break if I were him. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Ned didn't really seem like a, you know, wizard dad. So. From what you've heard so far, what do you think's going on? It's Brian. Huh? It's Brian. I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta what find mean, out. Brian? What do you think? The friggin' whatever, whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. Back in them. They closed the Brian. door when they could have just. Then what would happen to the rock or chopped you up with a? Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just, I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. Hmm. So? Hmm. You think Brian is the one talking to him, huh? Yep. What about, uh, his father, Ned? Oh, he killed him. uh, also. You think he killed Ned? Those girls turned up. Looks like he didn't kill him. Nobody did. They took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and, uh, landed in jail. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Yeah, we've got enough unanswered shit to answer for, I'd say. this again. And we shall be discovering if you were right or if you were wrong. Oh man. Because what do you think could be hidden in this cave? The secret identity. Well, I'll forebode one thing and tell you. Somebody is dead. Oh man. And their body may or may not be in this cave, and that's why the key was gone. Hmm. It was that patty chick or whatever. She dead. She real dead. Hmm. We shall see. So, so far, just rough estimate. What do you think about the game? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. You may not like this part. Oh damn. Ah oh, shit. Ned. That's sad. Where his father was making him come out here and was teaching him climbing and stuff that he didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. Brian didn't really want to do it. You know, falling down, had an accident, and died in the cave. That's hard stuff. Hmm. And now Ned's crazy. Ned blames himself. Does he blame himself? Is he crazy? I would. Is Ned even still here? Probably. Was it even Ned's fault? Probably. Ned probably did it. Well, fudger. Hmm. 